Hey, welcome back. Have you always wondered why your VBA code runs slow? It's probably due to calculations in the background, like formulas, or maybe your worksheet keeps flipping back and forth, updating. There's also other reasons why as well. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can quickly toggle these on and off to speed up your workbook. All right, let's get started. First of all, we're going to start with a subroutine, like testing, and then we're going to do range v3 dot value, dot value equals equals. This is how to speed up your work, your DBA code. Then we're going to do work, worksheets.add.name equals, and then we're going to do hello world. So this is going to add a new worksheet. So normally to speed up your workbook, you would do something like application dot calculation equals manual to turn off then you would do application dot status bar false etc you would type all these at the start of your code to turn off and then you would do the same thing to turn it back on and i would change this to automatic now this is good if you have one module one subroutine but if you have multiple modules or subroutines, then this can be quite tedious to type over and over again. I'll show you a better way to do this. Okay, so we're going to use a public function. And we're going to call this app reset. And inside parentheses, we're going to put in optional toggle as boolean. And basically what Boolean is, is it's either true or false. And we're going to toggle that true or false using toggle. Next, we're going to create a variable, so dim calc as Excel calculation. Then we're going to tell Excel what calc is, so false IIF. And what IIF means is basically we're going to say, if there's an expression, then it's going to be true. Otherwise, it's going to be false. And the toggle is either true or false. So we're going to use toggle. And if it's true, we're going to do Excel calculation automatic. If it's false, we're going to do Excel calculation manual. Close off your parentheses. Next, we're going to do with application. And then we're going to do calculation equals calc because this is determined by whether it's true or false then we're going to do dot screen updating equals toggle and basically what screen updating is if you have to flip back and forth between different worksheets your workbook is going to start to flicker and we don't want that next we're going to do display alerts equals toggle Again, display alerts. Your code stops if there's any alerts that needs to be handled by the user. And we don't want that. We want that off. Next, we're going to do enable events. And we're going to toggle that. Again, enable events just means if there's any worksheet events or any other event type that requires user interaction, it's going to stop your code. And we don't want that. Next, we're going to do ask to update links, and we'll use toggle. And ask to update links, sometimes we have a workbook that has a link, and you need to update it. There's always a pop-up, and we're going to turn that off. When we set it to false, it's going to automatically update the links for us but without having the pop-up display alert. Next, we're going to do status bar equals false. And status bar at the bottom of your worksheet, there's always text down here telling you what Excel is working on, what it's doing, and we want that off. Next, we're going to do 
cut copy mode equals false. And we're pretty much done. We're going to do end with. All right, so to toggle this on and off, it's pretty simple. We're going to do app reset false because we want to turn it off. And at the end of the our code, you want to do app reset true because we want to turn everything back on. And we'll quickly go to formula and go to calculation option. And we can see that calculation is already set to automatic. So when we step through this code, it's going to first turn off calculation. After we step through that, and then we go back to formulas and double check, you can see that's set to manual already. Next, we'll step through all the code. And then it's going to input in range B3. This is how you speed every code. And then we're going to do add a worksheet and then turn everything back on. And then if we go back up to formula, we can see that calculation is set to automatic. And we have our worksheet, hello world. And in sheet one, in B3, we have our text. As you can see, we have one line to deactivate, one line to activate, and then a static code here that pretty much toggles on and off based on your uh, true or false, instead of having to type all this at the beginning and at the end of your code. I hope this tutorial helped you, and as always, see you next time.